Police Magistrate Police Melissa West made Monday's decisions about setting bail. The allegation is that Mr. Parker obtained $40 in U.S. currency. In this case, alleged theft from a relative's purse. $1,000 bond at 10% means it would cost the defendant $100 to get out of jail. According to the public defender's office, it costs $69 a day to incarcerate someone here. The nation grapples with the question, what price presumption of innocence? And the bond that the government typically requires flies in the face of the presumption of innocence. Every time in this county. Every time. If you presumed everybody was innocent, then you'd give every single person that in, appeared in front of you an OR bond. For purposes of setting bond, you have to assume that it happened and then set a reasonable bond based on that assumption. Reasonable is the operative word criminal justice reformers used as they gathered in front of City Hall. Credit terms are available at bail bond agencies these days. Affluence doesn't equal innocence. Poverty doesn't equal guilt. Lawmaker P.G. Sittenfeld proposes no more cash bail for nonviolent misdemeanors. The inequities in our justice system disproportionately impact folks who are low income. My uncles, my aunts have all been a part of the justice system, couldn't make bail, lost jobs, lost custody of their children. There is an effort at the state legislative level to adopt a new standard. And some of your very conservative groups are on board with uh, some form of bail reform. Deprived target of $206.02. Sometimes bond can exceed the amount in the actual crime. In this instance, it was OR, own recognizance. Thank you, ma'am. God bless you. And just how many misdemeanor suspects versus felony suspects are incarcerated here at the Hamlin County Justice Center on a daily basis is not known. But what is clear is that there's enough support on council to get this approved and on the books in the city of Cincinnati probably this month. Reporting live, John London, WLWT News 5.